Okay. I want to see if I can try and help some people out with the problem that's uh, going around. Uh, it plagued me for a while. It's .mov. And if you have a flip camera, a Kodak ZI8, or a San Yosakti, I think, they all shoot in .mov format. Which is not acceptable by Windows Media Player. And the reason it's not acceptable by Windows Media Player is it's for Apple. It's an iMovie format. And I know a lot of people are probably going to comment or tell me, oh, all you have to do is go change the file name from .mov to .avi in the video. Well, I tried it. It doesn't work. When I did it, all it did was allow Windows Media Player to play it, but it didn't sync the audio, so it was a waste of time. The only way I've found to deal with the problem is to get a video converter. And there's lots of them out there. They, are, they range from anywhere from like $30 to $60. Um, the one I'm using is any video converter. It's a $60 program, but it works really good. Um, you need to make sure though that you get one that accepts in, incoming file form .mov. So you need to be able to import .mov files into it and export into MPEG-4. Um, .avi is usually best for playback on Windows Media Player. And you also need to find one that you can adjust the settings on it because you want to be able to change your uh, codec to a form acceptable by YouTube or the ones that they prefer because it makes it a lot faster when you go to upload your video. So you could find those by going to the upload section on YouTube and down on the lower left hand side when you're in that screen it says acceptable video formats. You click into there and it'll tell you exactly what to set your video converter at. And so after you do that, you get that all set up, you record a video, put it on your computer, just grab the file, convert it, and after it's converted, it'll be ready to go straight into Windows Movie Maker. So you put it in there, and if you make your edits, whatever you want to do to it, add titles, um, when you're ready to put it to YouTube, you click on File, Publish Video, and then you hit publish video to this computer and you put it in your video file and then it'll ask you which format would you like to publish this video and it'll give you the option of uh, best format for playback on this computer the second one is uh, compress video to whichever size you choose and your videos need to be under um, I think 100 megs or no they have to be under one gigabyte for YouTube under 10 minutes so you need to compress it to where it's uh, acceptable for YouTube under 10 minutes in length and you also have the option of a click down box that has several different options in it one of them is AVI there's other ones that are for uh, like DVD quality and a few others. Um, I At first I was having problems because I was choosing AVI and I found out that YouTube uh, sometimes has problems processing AVI videos so I was getting my videos loaded to YouTube and I was just getting a black screen with some audio and my video was getting lost in the upload. So the option you want to choose is best format for playback on this computer and it should work perfectly so you choose that and it'll publish it to your computer which usually takes a few minutes depending on how long the video is and after you get that done it's ready to be uploaded to YouTube so you just go to YouTube if you have your account all set up you hit upload and then click browse find your video and then open it and it'll start uploading it. It usually takes, um, it could take sometimes up to an hour depending on how uh, how long your video is. YouTube's kind of slow because they're processing so many videos. But I hope this tip helped and there's a lot of useless 
tips out there, like the change the video file name and just rename it to .avi. It doesn't work because it, it won't sync the audio right. So get yourself a video converter. I know you have to spend a little extra money to do it, but it's worth it because you can convert your videos to a lot of different formats. And it seems to work pretty smoothly for me. So I hope this helped. Uh, leave me some comments if it helped. Uh, give me five stars. And uh, if you have any more questions, um, let me know and I can see if I can help you out.